No one ever grows up thinking, I want to be a headless kamikaze and dedicate my life to the destruction of Sirius Sam. But hey, here I am. With a relentless thirst for blood and deadly bombs strapped to their hands, Sirius Sam's headless kamikaze has made a living out of death and destruction. But underneath the haunting battle cry lies a soft whisper of a gentler being, a family man. Let's take a deeper look into the world of Brett Sanderson, one of the people behind the iconic Headless Horde. Wow, this is neat. Oh, hi. Hey, I just need to check the mic here. Check, check, test. Is that good? Testing one. Is that better? Can you hear me? I don't, he doesn't have a mouth. Yeah, sure, there are times that I wonder if removing my head and replacing my hands with bombs was a good idea. Do I miss being able to smell a rose or wear a sombrero? Sure. Would I do it again? You're darn tootin'. Well, my last job was in sales. I had job security, pretty good benefits, medical, dental. But you know, at some point I realized I was looking for something more. A little adventure. And joining Mental's Horde seemed like a perfect fit. Just, uh, just a bag over the head like that. A little dark in here. Are these reading as bombs? I'm sorry. Lord Mental delivered the good news himself. I was decapitated there on the spot. Being a headless kamikaze is great. There's a real sense of brotherhood with the other kazis. We're like the closest family ever. Who? I don't know anybody named Brett. I mean, we all kind of look the same though, right? <laughs> Three weeks later, Brett Sanderson, husband, father, and one of Mental's most promising minions was killed by Sirius Sam. But his determined spirit and boundless enthusiasm will forever live on in the missing faces of headless kamikazes everywhere. Watch out, Sam. I'm coming for you. And when I catch you, it's gonna be game over, buddy. <laughs> you know, it's like I always say. <clears throat>